have literally just freaked out because this is where I keep like all my little SD cards all my SD cards are labeled on there for like what they are like so there's like reading vlog vlog sit down videos podcast all of that I bring this everywhere with me because like when I go down to Bloomington bring it down with me that way like when I need to edit whatever I thought for a split second I was like getting ready and I went to go set the camera up to vlog and for a split second actually for like a few minutes I was like let me go search through my bag because if I left this there I'm going to freak out because one I don't have any SD cards to vlog on two all of the videos that I need to edit are on these SD cards but nevertheless we got them we got them so anyway it's Tuesday we're getting back into a routine after being on vacation for a week, which is proven to be difficult. But literally, it's just because I think it would have been better if I would have started the week at my house, but I didn't because I got back home Sunday. I got home like Sunday at like noon, and then I went down to Bloomington, and I just got home like an hour ago. Didn't get to like start off the week on a regular note. However, yesterday was quads day, and I did make it to the gym and did go work out down in Bloomington yesterday. Right now, it is 2.11 right now. This is like the worst time possible to go to the gym. This is what I call like from like three to five six it's like gym bro hour but I literally have to go I have to go because if I don't go I'm gonna freak out that is what I'm trying to motivate myself to do my hair is like a mess I need to wash it desperately it's not doing well today's back and biceps day oh anyway let's get ready while I'm getting ready though we'll take a little break and I will show you guys the little unboxing that I did when I got home on Sunday I had a bunch of packages waiting for me and of course I had no self-control and I unboxed them also let i'll show you guys that even though we have to get back into a routine the fun thing about coming home from a trip is i have quite a few packages to open first of all we have a package for charlie she gets a bark box every month bark to school i thought that this was the theme of last month look your bark box you're not even opening it ah ah yeah Next up we have this. It looks like it's from Alani Nutrition. They sent over some of the cherry slush energy sticks. I'm pretty sure you just put these like in your drink. Oh, it's a little glass water bottle. So like you, I can fill it up with my water for my workout and then put the cherry slush in that. If anyone from Alani is watching this, literally thank you so much because in this vlog, you guys are literally going to be seeing me use this for the gym. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, I ordered this shirt from Not Yet Home. It is a YouTuber I watch. Her boyfriend owns this company and I love like what it stands for. I just ordered this shirt. It says this life won't last. Oh, I think this is stuff that I ordered like a long while ago. Oh, this tote is so cute. It says a little romance book club right there. Wait, no, this is literally, I just ordered this. It says Tom and College on it from Biting at Keeping 13. I literally just ordered this little embroidered crew. I literally am in love. I think these are from, I think one of these is Powerless because I didn't know this, but I guess Powerless isn't in the United States yet. I think it comes to the United States like in November. That's why it wasn't on Prime. And so I think this may be it. I thought this said like $5.99, like it was $5, but I definitely paid like close to $20. So we have Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Gosh, why are they making these? Yeah, it is. Okay. Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young. I read this last month and I was just buying a physical copy of it. Okay, I think the rest of this stuff is Isaac's gifts. Oh, this is from Sincerely Amanda. As you guys know, I talked about her multiple times on my channel and she has the cutest bookmarks that I literally take everywhere with me. Oh, this is like a little fall book drop. Autumn leaves falling down like pieces into place. Spooky book season. Books and pumpkin spice fall into books. So literally keeping all of these in my nightstand drawer because since it is now fall reading officially i'm keeping all of these my nice and you guys know she has sent me so many bookmarks and they're so cute if you guys are wanting to support a small business please go support sincerely amanda's because she has the cutest bookmarks <sighs> okay cool now that the commercial break is over oh, man i really need to wash my hair i think i already said that today's back and biceps day but 
getting into the routine after like being on vacation is always the hardest thing to do well it's hard because it's just hard to like get back into a routine but for me personally i feel like i beat myself up so much like if i don't go to the gym so like not going to the gym part of the routine is not really like an option for me like i was telling my mom i was like oh i don't play going to the gym my mom's like just do like a little whatever workout and like don't go today and i was like ah. That's funny that you don't think I would fall onto a ball of self-hatred if I didn't go to the gym today. And that's like not healthy at all. Very, very aware how unhealthy that like way of thinking is. But I can't help it. <sighs> Let's go to the gym. Okay guys, you saw in the unboxing clip that Alani sent me this. So they sent me this water bottle with this cherry slush. Sometimes I wonder if people at the gym like notice that I have a Spider-Man phone case and then I'm drinking out of a Spider-Man water bottle. I want to get some of the Witch's Brew Alani energy drinks because it's that season. Oh my gosh, I saw this video today that's like a new meme that I'm saying that like is probably so niche that like people don't really get. But it's like, can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? And it's literally a video of this little girl. And I think they're in Texas or something. And she, there's a big like bear. Like, they're on a deck, and there's a bear just, like, right, like, in between the bars. And she's like, can't pet that dog. I've started saying it, and no one gets what I'm referencing. Shake, shake. I feel like a bartender. Yeah. On the rocks. Know nothing about bars. Never been inside of one. Okay, guys. So, we just got out of the shower. I thought this would be a good time to show you guys some of what my post-shower routine has been looking like. While we're at it, I want to thank Oak Essentials for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I feel like it's universal, especially at night. Like, whenever you take a shower at night, like, that's when you start doing everything. Brushing your teeth, washing your face, moisturizing every single inch of your body, everything. Lately, I've been using Oak Essentials. So, if you guys don't know, Oak Essentials is actually known for its simple approach to self-care. They have basically made a lineup of foundational skincare stations which are made with high quality ingredients this way they are making products that actually drive results so right now i'm actually using the moisture rich balm i just basically use a pea sized amount because this stuff a little goes a long way with this stuff and when i mean a little goes a long way i mean a little like i barely got any on this but usually when it's the nighttime, I do usually go in with a little bit more because while I'm sleeping, I like to lock in that moisture aspect. And I really like the glow that this product gives me as well because, I mean, you guys can see. Like, you guys see the glow that's on my face. I've been liking this too because just lately, I have not been feeling the makeup game. Like, I have just not been liking to put on makeup. And this gives me the confidence to, like, go out with that no makeup makeup look. Oh, this stuff smells so good too. And it literally, I mean, it makes my skin feel so good. I just, like, moisturize it into everything. And actually, this is super nutrient-rich and actually helps support your collagen. And obviously, we're hydrating the skin. Also, I never have to worry about the ingredients that are in Oak Essentials because that's, like, one of their main priorities. For example, in this moisture-rich balm, we're using ingredients like sea buckthorn fruit oil, organic coconut oil and organic cocoa seed butter now you can either buy the moisture balm on its own or you can buy one of oak essentials best selling sets that they have which i honestly recommend especially if you're looking to kind of like switch up your skincare and it also just makes skincare way more simple like when you buy sets like these because listen whether it's me waking up in the morning to do my skincare or like now late at night before bed I just want it to be simple. I want everything laid out before me and it's nice to buy sets that way just kind of like boom, 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 step, step, step. You know what I mean? I would recommend the routine product bundle, which this includes the moisture rich balm, the ritual oil, the cleansing balm, balancing mist, and the restorative mask. I also want to talk about their dew body oil. Now I really like body oils because sometimes I'm weird about lotions. Like I don't really love the way that the lotions feel on me. So if you're too like that, I would definitely recommend the body oil because it's very lightweight and very moisturizing at the same time. And the stuff smells literally so good. Like it is that clean girl scent that you're getting with this. I love to rub this on my hands, especially because do you know like when you're ever like shaking hands with somebody or like somebody touches your hands and they're like, oh wow, your hands are soft. Like, I don't know that and being told that you smell good. Those two compliments that go along way with me which their new body oil is super lightweight it literally absorbs instantly on my skin and it makes it leaves me feeling very very moisturized and it's said to improve tone and texture and it just leaves you again with the same glow that you're getting 
with the moisture balm. I usually apply a generous amount, especially like now when I'm like getting out of the shower. I'm usually applying a very good amount of this into my body because I really want to get it in there and get moisturized everywhere. Again, Oak Essentials ingredients are very, very important and with your Dew body oil, it includes ingredients like organic safflower seed oil, hard seed oil, and organic sesame seed oil. And again, guys, I cannot stress how good these things smell. Like I literally will walk out of this bathroom right now and everybody in my family will tell me how good it smells. Like, Oak Essentials is definitely the go-to skincare brand for radiant and glowing skin like mine is right now. My followers, you guys can actually get 15% off your first order at Oak Essentials when you use code Destiny Symbol. I'm gonna have it up on the screen for you guys. And that's 15% off your first order at Oak Essentials, which is O-A-K-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S. -S -E I'm gonna have it up on the screen as well. Dot com. You guys can use the code Destiny said well for 15% off at checkout on your first order. Whether you're starting from scratch or filling the gaps, Oak Essentials gives you one less thing to worry about. So treat yourself because you guys deserve it. And I love to have the nice glowing skin and I want you guys to as well. So thank you guys again so much Oak Essentials for sponsoring today's video. <sighs> Let's get some work done. Hey everybody. So I, oh, it's like hours later. It's actually like 10 o'clock at night right now. 9.30, that was kind of dramatic. <laughs> anyway, anywho, I took a shower. Worked out, took a shower, and it's pretty much all I did. So now I decided that this is when I'm gonna start working. But oh, look, guys, look what I have on. I oh, this got delivered today. I bought this from Chloe Walsh on her website. She was like selling merch for the Boys of Tommen series, and it has the little like crest for the school. Literally, I feel like this is my school uniform. I feel like I go there. It's not good for my delusional brain to like have this crew neck. Make I go to Tommen. I got this one in the crew neck. On the back, it literally says Gibsy, number seven. And then I got the t-shirt that's the same thing, but it's just a t-shirt in this color with the emblem. And then it says Kavanaugh, number 13. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to debate on whether I want to edit the vacation reading vlog or I want to start the Harry Potter reading vlog. But I don't think I'm going to do the Harry Potter reading vlog because I don't think I have the brain power right now to like read words on paper. But I do think that I have the brain power to edit so that's how that goes but first of all i'm gonna have a little snack these are my protein quest chips and i'm gonna have a little bit of a, a youtube time are there any new videos there are should i watch little women or should i start gilmore girls i've been thinking about starting gilmore girls out of Yale? why did you drop out of yale i want to know like what boyfriend that i love the most and i don't have a stance like I need to start watching it because I'm having my enrichment time with my YouTube and my chips. Um, the New Heights podcast, which is Jason and Travis Kelsey's podcast. And Jason was talking about how, it's like an older clip, how he like watched the Twilight Saga for the first time. And can we just talk, like I started actually busting out laughing, almost choked on my chips. And Edward starts to get upset and says he's going to kill himself. <laughs> I don't know, something about the way that that was delivered literally sent me i had to share that with you guys because this was so niche i was like scrolling to look for a vlog and i saw this and then i was like oh wow like two worlds colliding like i watch this podcast a lot and they were talking about twilight which is a book touch movie series that i have a guilty pleasure in good morning everybody how are we doing great to hear great to hear i feel like i feel like your guidance counselor that's what I feel like doing this right now. It's Wednesday. Some would say it's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Ugh, I can't believe I said that. Today's Wednesday. Let's see what I'm gonna get up to today. <laughs> so, today is the 20th. Why do I keep thinking my mom's birthday is the 22nd? It's the 23rd, day. I have some stuff going on today. I actually have a lot of stuff going on. Actually kind of freaking out. <laughs> about some stuff so let's see let's make a to-do list that always helps me organize my thoughts so let's go to today let's make a freaking to-do list okay so in my little planner it says work life and top priority so our top priority today is to work out clean my room and film the pod now but if we break it down to subcategories my work priorities is to film the podcast and I put both of these, but it's either edit the vacay reading vlog or start Harry Potter. And I also need to edit the podcast today. And then for life, I need to work out. I need to clean my room. And I need to find the Witch's Brew Alani because I was at Target in Bloomington and I found it. Um, it was just like out in the little refrigerator section when you go to check out. It's the full time 
so my energy drink of choice has to also represent the fall also for filming a podcast today i wanted to be on brand and i want to have a witch's brew alani with me i'm about to get ready for the gym right now that's what i'm about to do and then i may go before the gym and try to find the witch's brew alani because i have like a walmart and meyer on the way to the gym i can't find them there after the gym i'm gonna go to target i need to clean my room and then i need to film the podcast and then i need to do other work related things today that's what's going on with me today thanks so much for asking okay i'm gonna put my gym outfit on we're getting spooky today. Look at this. Things are getting real spooky around here. Okay, let me put on some deodorant. Hi, hello. Do you know what else I can't find? My camera, which is actually like a huge issue. You guys may be like, Desi, you're literally vlogging on your camera, babe. No, my other camera. My camera that I use for like sitting out, like really everything else. This is just kind of like my vlog camera. Um, yeah, I can't find my other camera because I took it on vacay with me and now I can't find it. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. Okay, guys. It is like almost one o'clock right now. And I am about to film a podcast episode with Sarah. This is the setup that we have going on. I wanted to film in my little fall corner because today we're doing a fall themed episode. So I thought for the visual people that it would be cute to sit in front of my little fall little corner. So that's what we're going to do. I'm about to film that though. I got my little drink of the episode. If you guys don't listen to our pod, first of all, literally, what are you doing? Because you should be listening. But today for my little drink of the episode, I got my favorite thing that I've been getting from Starbucks, which is the ice chai tea, pumpkin foam, and then brown sugar in it. It is exceptional. But Sarah just got home, so I'm going to open up the studio and everything and get us going for the pod today. Okay, guys, I just finished filming the pod it is literally four o'clock right now and i mean the pod wasn't like three hours long but me and sarah always like after the pods finish we like sit and talk for a little bit which is honestly like one of my favorite times of the week is like after the pod when me and sarah just sit down and like talk about all the stuff that we need to catch up on we just got off the phone and the footage is all uploading so while that's uploading to do a little what i call brain break before i have to sit down because i think this podcast episode is either like two hours long close to two hours which i wanted it to be a longer podcast since the week before we didn't put out a podcast episode so I'm taking a little brain break and I'm gonna go to Target. I wanna see if they have the witches brew Alani's, which we talked about earlier. And then I also just kinda like wanna take some, I call it TT time, Target time. So we're gonna go to Target, ask my mom if she wants to go. I've been waiting on a UPS package all day and I don't think it's delivered and it needed a signature. So I've also been like making sure I'm home. <laughs> and they just haven't delivered it yet and it's supposed to be here today. So I don't know, but I'm gonna ask my mom if she wants to go to Target. If not, I'm just gonna take my AirPod, AirPods, Air, AirPods with me. And we're just gonna look around. I also need to get some wrapping paper to wrap her presents because her birthday is Saturday. We're going to eat at the Cheesecake Factory. That's all I know that we're doing. <laughs> okay, we need great lighting because I have been waiting like three months for this package. Handle with care. I am. I didn't open it. Okay, so a few months ago I ordered these Akatar sets. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My heart actually hurts. A quart of Frost and Starlight. The sprayed edges. Okay, I'm on. The sprayed edges, are you kidding? Oh, look at the, the snowball fight. Oh my gosh, my heart actually hurts. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, a quart of thorns and roses and look at the sprayed edges on this one. It's, look, the roses on top and then right here. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Aquawar, oh my gosh guys, it has the cereal and the cauldron and the hand and the dagger. Oh my gosh, and the swords right here. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is the most beautiful thing I've, oh, my heart. A Court of Mist and Fury. We have this beautiful design right here. Oh, what is it? Oh my God, the pointing cauldron finger of the ring. Oh my God. Beautiful. Oh my God. We have a Court of Silver Flames. This is beautiful. And we have the literal silver flames. And then this is the spine on this one. Oh my gosh, and the mask on the back. Guys, this is all of them together. 
and these are their sprayed edges and also this is like the bottom on top of them this is like the best thing guys this is from kingdom book designs by the way go follow them on instagram and tiktok and they also have a youtube channel this is the best thing that i've ever bought in my whole entire life <gasps> Oh my god, I have to take like 10,000 pictures of them. Funny story, I had went to Target and stuff. I came home and I have been waiting on UPS all day because there's a package and it's actually my mom's birthday present that I'm waiting on that needed a signature it said. So like I had to be home and I was like, crap, they're probably going to come while I'm gone or like they're not going to come at all today. I pull up, literally park my car and UPS comes and I thought, oh, they're just going to have like my mom's thing. No, they had multiple packages and when I saw this box, I knew, I just knew. I was like, that's him. Guys, I just want to sit and stare at these. Like, I don't want to do anything else. These are my most prized possessions right here. This is the most prized possessions. If you guys go up, because I think uh, I think they're sold out of these right now. Like, I bought these, like, months ago, and I was waiting for them because I had seen a woman unbox them on TikTok that I got tagged in. These are beautiful. You're supporting a small business, and with these, I think you buy, like, this set is Akatar, Akamoth, Akawar, Ak... A quarter frost and starlight you buy a quarter silver flame separately but i wanted to buy all of them oh my god this is like the best thing ever so nothing can top that package like nothing is topping it i also got an amazon package but i know what this is i was watching darling nope i was watching <clears throat> darling desi on youtube and if you guys want a fall youtuber that like gives all the fall vibes and she's doing essentially like a guide to fall and she talked about this book that i've never heard of but it just seems like so fall because i think at like the beginning harvest soap for luck ingredients like it has these little things and that's the unfortunate side effects of heartbreak and magic and i don't really even know what this is about like at all it is giving the very much like fall vibe that i'm chasing after so i'm very excited to read this but anyway we went to target as we said and the first thing, like the only clip that I filmed, was that I freaking found this Fleetwood Mac rumor shirt in the guys section. And it, this was the only one that they had. And I bought it. And if you guys know, Fleetwood Mac rumors album is like one of my top five albums of all time. I literally could listen to Fleetwood Mac rumors anytime. I love Fleetwood Mac so much. And I've been looking. The weird thing is, is I was literally thinking about this today. I was like, man, I wish I had like a t-shirt of the Fleetwood Mac rumors album and then I go to Target and I find it. Of course I had to get a few fall candles. We got pumpkin pancake. I also loved it so much that I got a little one for the bathroom. And then lastly I literally bought all three books in the E. Schwab. Uh what is this? What is this series called? A Darker Shade of Magic like this little trilogy. I bought all three of these because when I was on my book buying ban I either talked about it in like a podcast episode or a vlog of some sort that I had went to Target and I had seen this cover which is I think a new cover for this series and i was like wow i really like those covers and then today when i went to target they just had these three and they didn't have any like duplicates it was literally just these three sitting on the shelf no other ones so i was like this is a sign i gotta buy them because i know rachel catherine had been talking about these books and that's why i read vicious and vengeful because of her and i enjoyed like i enjoyed the e schwab's books and visible life i really i loved i really enjoyed uh vicious would like to read these as well so i bought them new so i took my brain break it's now seven o'clock and i am going to start editing i did not have any luck finding the witch's brew which is honestly really hard because now it's all i'm focusing on because i wanted an energy drink to start editing so i think i'm going to edit the podcast and i'm going to edit my vlog my like reading on vacation vlog after that and i really wanted the witch's brew to edit and drink that so i don't know i don't know i'm like on the lookout for it it's like the cherry slush alani all over again now i find the cherry slush alani anywhere i go like i can't escape her and i love her right but now it's like the witch's brew like i want the witch's brew but i can't find it anywhere i almost took that whole entire thing down anyway it's like nine well not nine o'clock it's 8 30. i have just finally because i've been having trouble like when i edit the podcast there's like technical stuff that i don't really know how to explain that i was running into and i finally figured out what to do i swear i've been doing youtube like editing since i was 14 years old and let me just tell you i'm 20 so it's been like six years right 
it never gets like you're always learning something new you never know like everything you can know about editing and just even little things as simple as like what i had to fix i was like wow i can't believe for years i've struggled with that and then i like unlock this like new thing anyway so basically i just got it to where everything is synced up and now i'm diving into the episode the episode right now uncut because there's sometimes that like or there's like silences that i cut whatever it's two hours long and it's 8 30 and uh so if i were to start right now i would get done listening just listening to the episode by like 10 30. i'm so tired i'm gonna go downstairs and get an energy drink all I've been thinking about is the witch's brew Alani's and how I couldn't get it. But yeah, let's go downstairs before I start like getting into the little editing rabbit hole. Whew, why is it so cold down here? The temperature drops like 15 degrees down here. In the middle of the night and my dreams. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Hello. It is 11 11. Oh, 11 11. Oh my gosh. It just took me back to middle school where I used to literally set alarms for 11 11. I used to sit in class and I used to literally set alarms for 11 11. And I would be like, make a wish. I need to make a wish. Like, I need to make sure like, that I get my wish. Um, so that's crazy. And I just got done editing the podcast. Yeah, what I do is I upload the audio into like uh, this thing for Sarah to listen to. I upload it so Sarah can listen to it. And then I also start uploading the YouTube video because that takes a while. Especially this episode is an hour and 53 minutes after editing. But I like make sure Sarah listens to it so she approves the episode before it goes live. If it happens to be like tonight where like I got it done in the night and maybe Sarah's asleep. Or like she's like, yeah, I'll listen to it in the morning. Usually I'll send the YouTube link too. But most of the time I don't send the YouTube link. I am tired but I also feel like I could get more work done. So I'm going to always opt to get more work done so i think while the youtube video is like uploading and stuff i'm going to start editing my like what i read on vacation slash vacation vlog I'm wearing my Fleetwood mac rumors t-shirt for my pajamas love i'm so happy about this literally if you guys want to see this is my pajamas right now i got i got these boxer shorts from target in like three different colors and I love them. Also, something that I've like noticed about myself is so like whenever I wear rings, one of my like anxious tics or whatever, I'm always doing something. So either that's bouncing my leg, that's either like rubbing my chest when I'm having really bad anxiety because I have chest pain or like whatever. But I'm telling you guys this fact. And now it's become doing this doing this with this necklace because me and Isaac's anniversary was the other day like today's the 20th and so September 16th was our anniversary and that was our seven year anniversary and one of the things that he got me was this necklace that actually a lot of people happen to tag me in on my TikTok and it is this little Spider-Man pendant necklace from um I almost said Sephora from Pandora and now I just don't really like take it off and I always have it like usually just sitting like underneath my shirt or something, but I'm always just like messing with it now. I don't know. I thought I would share that with you guys. But um, now I'm gonna try to edit as much of the vlog as I can. I really don't have any expectations for it because like I'm honestly like, I can stay up and work, but I don't know for like how long I can do that. So who knows how much of the vlog we're gonna have uploaded, but I'm gonna try my hardest to upload as much as I can and edit as much as I can of it. So that's what's going on. Right now, it's 7.16 a.m. right now. <sighs> and Charlie woke me up at like 6 a.m. So I've been up for like an hour. So mad because sometimes she wakes up because she has to use the bathroom, but usually it's just because she hears either somebody walking around or like hears something and she wants to go downstairs. And today it was because she heard my brother go downstairs. She was like, I wanna go downstairs. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna run down and then I'm gonna go back to bed. And it reminded me of when I was in school and I used to do that. Like if I woke up before like my alarm, I would be like in a panic being like, let me go back to sleep, let me go back to sleep. So like, if I don't go back to sleep, like I'm wasting time. Like I literally need to go back to sleep. And um, wow, talking about going to school just sent this wave of anxiety through my body, like remembering. So I didn't go back to sleep. Awesome. I like turned on YouTube because I was watching New Girl like all last night to go to bed. And then I ended up turning on YouTube because I was like, 
oh, let's just turn on YouTube, whatever. And I ended up not going back to bed and I made like the thumbnail for the podcast. Now, I'm about to just get up and start the day. What do I want the day to look like? What do I want today to look like? Today, I have so much stuff work-wise to do. I, well, like the podcast already uploaded, but I have to do that. I have to edit the VK reading vlog. I have to start the Harry Potter series reading vlog. That was supposed to be filmed all week this week and I literally haven't even started it yet. So I'm like stressed out about that. I just have a lot of stuff work-wise that I need to get done. Ugh, I'm getting up. <laughs> stair climber i'm still like i'm not sick still but i'm still in that like like when i go like when i was running earlier like i still have that mucus build up especially in the morning and so when i run and it like has the mucus stuck in my throat this is like kind of gross but my, the mucus is stuck in my throat and i feel like i can't breathe and like i still feel like that right now like all throughout the whatever i'm like <sighs> like just i sound like like a bulldog or something i don't know <laughs> let's go home i have to pee so bad and it's like a 15 minute drive home and i have to pee so bad what do you want from starbucks yeah where's he at the warehouse do you want a pack of cheese Same class night. No way. That's so. Did he get the day off today? You tired? Yes. You should have everything? Yes. How was your night? At least you get the rest of the day off. Oh, I'm sleeping. Yeah. Everything is sold out at the store. They don't have my berry yogurt. It's Friday. morning and we're going to starbucks and i have to take zach and isaac to the airport because they're going to tampa for like a day and then i have to get on a meeting at 2 30 at home and then i have to work for the rest of the day and all weekend because i haven't got any of my stuff done well, I'm tell them that. <laughs> you told me when i get home no because isaac kept me all day from doing my work i told him when i was coming here i was like i have a lot of work to do we come he's like let's go to pet smart okay now let's go play basketball okay now let's go look at this truck okay now let's go do this so then i was out of the work mode and then he leaves last night to go live and he comes back at four o'clock in the morning and he's laying down and he's like did you get your stuff done and i said no and he's like, well, what'd you do? And I said, I watched YouTube. <laughs> and then I went to sleep because I just wasn't. I was having a headache and I was so tired and I was just angry. So I was like, I'm just going to go to bed. Okay, guys, I'm back in my humble home now. I took Isaac and Zach to the airport today, dropped them off. And now it is 2.08 right now. And I have a meeting with my manager here in like 20 minutes so i am just brushing my hair throwing a few curls in well I, uh, yeah uh i know a hundred percent that when i get off the phone i'm gonna take a nap because today's just not a good like mental day for me i woke up today and as soon as i woke up i was just like yep nope because like i said me and isaac were kind of talking about this he got home last night at like four o'clock this morning that kind of sounded complicated well he got home today at four o'clock in the morning whatever and after that like i was already having anxiety and i woke up literally just like could not breathe i was having like i my dream correlated with my anxiety in a weird way like i was anxious in my dream and i woke up obviously like it's kind of like when you have a nightmare and you wake up and you're like <gasps> like but that's how it was like i wasn't having a nightmare i was literally just like i remember being anxious in my dream and then i woke up and literally was on the verge of having a straight up meltdown so i didn't sleep very good and i'm distressed because i have a lot of work to do so instead of doing that work i'm gonna take a nap but it's literally because i can't 
do anything right now like i have to get on this meeting and then after the meeting i'm literally going straight to bed that is what's going on right now and i've just now decided after putting dry shampoo in my hair that it looks fine that looks fine it's gonna stay like this i'm gonna get on i think it's like a 30 minute phone call that we're chatting about a few things i'm gonna take some notes and then you guys are gonna see me until after i take a nap i just kind of am in the mode i don't know hi so i got off call with my manager probably about 30 minutes ago because it's 4 15 right now we talked for about an hour and i love my manager it's always so nice to chat and catch up with her so hopefully we can do that more often now but now you guys remember when i was like i'm going to take a nap i'm not going to i decided to be productive because i reminded myself how much i have to do and then i was like yeah girl you don't got time to take a nap that's where this comes in. I know that there was a comment on my vlog that I posted yesterday. It was like, you're gonna literally have heart failure by the time you're 30. Like you should not have to have energy drinks and naps to function. And I was like, I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not gonna have heart failure though. I'm not like putting that out there that I'm gonna have heart failure. So here we go. This is the Alani's Witch's Brew. I didn't find one of these by the way. It was just that I bought like two of them when I was in Bloomington and this was the other one. And I literally took it with me because I don't think, well actually, my order said it was out for delivery today. It hits. It hits. If you guys haven't tried the Alani New Witch's Brew flavor, literally, what are you doing, babe? I'm filming my, like, vacay. It's kind of like a vacay week of my life in a reading vlog mixed. And I kind of want to start doing that, like, with my week in the lives. Like, I want to make it, like, a what I read in a week slash spend a week with me. So, if you guys think that that's interesting, it can kind of bring in people who just like the book content and can also bring you guys into my life and you guys see it but the only thing that scares me about that is that me saying like it's a reading vlog but it's also a week in my life that people are gonna be like there wasn't enough reading in this video and it's like yeah sometimes i don't read a lot this week oh my god i actually uh, i don't have time to stress about this right now with you guys but just know that i'm stressing because i read four books this month which is not bad but it's like when I have videos planned out of like I need it for reading vlogs and I have stuff that I need to do. I just feel a little bit like I can't breathe. I feel a little confined in my skin. So I'm trying to edit this. That way I can get to start reading the Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to sip on this and go, go ham on some editing.